Okay, so we've installed our JDK, we've installed the Android SDK, and if you were on Mac, we installed Homebrew as well. The next step that we're gonna go through in this section is by far the trickiest. Uh, I apologize in advance if you have technical difficulties here. Um, this is definitely one of the chall most challenging parts of the Android setup. If you have challenges uh, or it's just not working out, I highly recommend that you check out the official documentation here. Uh, and I also recommend that you do a little bit of Googling and research on your project uh, for your given operating system. The reason this is gonna be so challenging is that we need to define a environment variable. And the way that you define that environment variable is gonna change depending on which operating system you're on, but it also depends upon which shell you're using. In other words, which terminal uh, you're using. Are you using, you know, say I use iTerm, you might be using the built-in terminal, and on top of that, you might be using Bash, while I, in particular, am using Z Shell. And with all these different, you know, variables going on, the setup process is just slightly different. So, I'm going to walk you through the process if you're using OSX with Terminal. If you're not using that, uh, I recommend you do just a little bit of Googling, a little bit of research. If you still have trouble, feel free to reach out to me, and I'll do my best to help you out. But you know, do be aware that configuration for everyone is going to be slightly different, so I might not always be able to help you as much as I can on this particular topic as I can with others. I also want to take this uh, time to remind you that if you are having just a lot of trouble with the Android setup, uh, getting Android setup is not a prerequisite for finishing the rest of the course. Um, you, know, you can continue to use Xcode, you can continue to use the simulator to get set up. All right, so with all that scary, scary language out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the environment variable. So we're going to go through the setup for using this on Mac with the built-in terminal. So I'm going to come to the, I'm at the React Native Android setup doc, docs, and I'm going to find this line of code right here. It says export Android home, and then it gives a very particular directory reference. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this line right here. And I'm going to come over to my terminal. Let's dial up the font a little bit. And I'm going to run the command cat bash profile. So what this does here is it prints out the current contents of your bash profile. So hopefully you've got some profile here already. If you do not have anything here, if there is no bash profile already set up, if, it, you know, if you got an error back that says no such file or directory, you can run the command touch tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile, and that will create the file for you. Again, if you uh, already have installed, do not run this command. Okay, so now that I know that I have a bash profile already set up, I'm gonna edit it inside of the visual editor. So I'll write, run vi tilde. I don't know if that's actually a tilde. You know, whatever the curly. This is the shift and then the command or the button underneath your escape key on most keyboards. Little curly right there. Forward slash dot bash underscore profile. Okay, so uh, forgive me for the ugly syntax highlighting here, but we can definitely get through this. So I'm going to go ahead and press I to enter editing mode. I'll press enter to insert a new line. I'll use my arrow key to go back up to the first line. And then I'm gonna press control V to paste. Okay. If you have any difficulty with uh, replicating that step right there, you know this is what we basically wanna ha have your uh, bash profile look like here. We wanna have at the very top, export Android home, and then a new line, and then anything else that was already in here. If you're having trouble with the visual editor, you can go ahead and close it and you can reopen this file inside of your favorite code editor and add the export Android home variable as well. Once I'm done adding this new line, you can see that I'm still inside of insert mode. So I'm gonna press escape. So I'm no longer in insert mode and I'll type colon. You can see down here, I just hit colon, WQ. So that writes the changes to the file and quits and I go back to the terminal. I'm then gonna rerun the cat command and I should be able to see the new Android home variable 
and the other stuff that was already in the file as well. Okay. Terrific. Last step here, I'm going to go ahead and quit the terminal completely with command Q. I'm going to open it back up. And I'll type echo dollar sign Android underscore home. And I should see that path that we just added pop up. If you do not have this path right here pop up, that means that something did not go so well and you need to do some troubleshooting. So again, if you are putting an echo dollar sign sign Android home and you don't see this pop up, you know, if you see something like just empty line right here, that means that something is not quite right and we need to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So with that in mind, Android environment variable correctly set up here. I'll catch you in the next section.